Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today I want to show you a brand new software that's called Cryptos 2. Right now it's a lifetime deal for $19 for the USB bolt. And if you want to use it on Mac or Windows, it's $29. This is a one-time price and you can have it forever. It's going to help you encrypt your files with a military-grade encryption, which is a 256-bit encryption. You can see this right here, the key features. And I just want to show you an overview of what the software does and how it's going to work. It's, so, it's super easy and it's available for Windows, Apple devices, and Android. This is our main page. You can see this right here. And you can see you can also have this integrated with your Dropbox, your Microsoft uh, Drive, and your Google Drive, your iCloud Drive also. You can see this right here. And it's a pretty cool software. So it's a one-time price. If you guys are interested, if you find this video helpful, the link is going to be in the description. It's an affiliate link. It won't cost you a dime more. It's just going to help me with a small commission. Okay, guys, so now we're going to head on over to Cryptos 2 that I already have installed here on Mac. And I'm going to open it. And the first thing I'm going to give you a tip is create a really strong password. There's no point in having an encryption software if your password is weak. So I'm going to enter my password just to log in. And you can see this is my main interface. It, it looks kind of like a file explorer, which it makes it really easy to use. And the first thing we're going to create is a folder inside of here. So we're going to create a folder on here in documents. And the folder, I'm just going to put test. Here's my folder, and it's so easy to use. I can either search for the, the file I want to encrypt, or I can just drag it in there. And just for example, I have this image right here that I want to encrypt. It's already in here. And hold on, something. I want to open this in the new folder, which is create test2. Okay, here it is. This is where we're going to put the file. So I already put it in here and you can see it's now in there and I'm going to put this PDF also that I have over here. Just drag those two. I can delete it if I don't want it. And I all, all I have to do is hit encrypt. Oh, got to select the files. Encryption. And you can see I have two successful encryptions. Now you can see over here, there's a little lock on the file. And on the image, I also have a lock on it. So I can't open this unless I enter my password. So with the software, I just encrypt it with a military grade encryption on these two files. Now, let's just say, you know what, I close this up. There you go. And it's encrypted. What happens if I want to open? So let's, I want to try open this file and it's going to ask me for my password. If I don't have the password, there's no way they're going to open this. What is this for? I mean, it's people who have sensitive uh, information. For example, people who do have business files in their home computer. You don't want kids to mess with it. Um, what other examples? You don't want your kids to see um, things they don't, they don't have to see. <laughs> I don't want to say explicitly, but I'm going to open this file. I'm going to enter my password and I'm going to say decrypt it. So you can see now the file is open. I can view it. The file is still encrypted. And I hit quit on this. Hit yes. And you can see it's encrypted. Now let's just say, you know what? I want to decrypt it. I'm going to head on over. Open Cryptos 2 again. Whoops. Wrong password. There we go. So we have the two files encrypted right here. Now I'm going to decrypt. This is right here. There you go. Now the files are visible again. You can see it's visible. I can just open it and there's no encryption on it. Super easy. Now, other things that these things have, where well, you can add your cloud, you can encrypt automatic files from your cloud. You can shred. Example, people think if you delete a file and you just empty your trash, trash bin, it's, it's deleted. No, that's not true. The only thing that uh, Windows and Mac do when you do that is that it makes the space available. So once you load more files, it's going to start erasing that file. But if you just delete it like that, it won't delete it. So shred is the most safe way to delete a file that you don't want it to come back ever again. Okay, guys. So this is the overview of Cryptos 2. Really easy to use. I mean, you could even say it's a tutorial. It's super easy to use. If you guys want to buy it, like I said, the link is going to be in the description. It's just going to help me out with a small commission. All right, guys. Well, this is George from Test Master. I hope you like this video. If you find this video interesting, first subscribe, like the video, and comment if you have any comments to make. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later.